Assalomu alaykum, hurmatli talabalar. Bugun sizlar bilan O'zbekiston Milliy universiteti xorijiy filologiyasi fakulteti ingliz filologiya kafedrasi katta o'qituvchisi Jabbor va Nozim Kamoliddinovni boshlang'ich sinflarda chet til o'qitish metodikasi fanidan ma'ruzamni boshlayman. Ma'ruzamni ingliz tilida olib borishga ruxsat bersangiz. The first lecture is about children's profile, age, psychological principles in Uzbekistan. Let me introduce with the outline of my lecture. First of all, we will try to talk about the presidential degree and educational standards in Uzbekistan. Then we will move to the young language learner's characteristics and profile. Then the third part of the lecture is about how do children learn language. Then main principles and purpose of all learning will be discussed in our presentation. First of all, start with the presidential degree. On 10th December 2012, president issued degree on measures for further improvement of foreign language learning. According to this degree, first year classes of secondary schools step by step should start the learning language from the alphabet through the grammar or playing games and reading and so on. Some special subjects, particular technical and international specialties are taught in foreign languages in higher educational institutions. Requirements for level learners on foreign languages in state educational standard of continuous education system. General secondary education primary classes starts with A1. Ninth grade sp specialized schools are A2+. Plus. Secondary special vocational education B1. If it's uh, just uh, profile lyceums or language profile, uh, just academic lyceums, it should be B1+. Plus. And while they're entering to the university, higher education institutions, uh, students B2. And at the end, they, if it's just um, bachelor degree language department of higher education institutions, C1. If it's a non-language department of higher education institution, B2+. Plus. Master's degree students, C1, and so on. Let's start the, just about the primary education. In primary education, our children start learning language with the gamers, with different songs and books. We have the kids' English book from the class first till the class third. They have kids' English and it's, uh, uh, it has many parts. Uh, just every part has their own songs and cartoons and different uh, methods and approaches are given in teacher's book also. Now let's talk about learner's profile and the characteristics. Every learner has their own profile and characteristics. Young language learners have their own just learning style. Usually they learn kinesthetic learning style. They are less shy than older learners. They love the praise and reward. They are very uh, energetic and active learners. They enjoy imitating and skillful in listening accurately. Young language learners enjoy learning through the playing, acting, making and doing some actions. Uh, they can interpret that meaning without necessarily understand individual word. They can learn indirectly rather than directly. By the age of five, children have developed a series of language skills and capacities in speaking, which can be transferred to foreign language learning. Vocabulary span, which covers several thousand words, basic grammatical forms, adult-like pronunciation. By the way, they have the very good pronunciation, uh, better than adults. They can talk the numbers of purposes, some of them higher order ones, like uh, just speculating, predicting. They can engage the role play and experiment with different interactional identities. They can enjoy playing with the through the language. They have developed the sense of genres and talks, jokes, stories, fairy tales. The general profile of the young language learner. It's a, uh, it has a difference between the language learner at the age of 5 and 10. Five-year-old little children, we call them very young language learner. 
Children of 10 are relatively mature children with an adult side and child side. Their basic concepts are formed already. They have very decided views of the world. They can ask questions all the time. They are able to make some decisions about their own, own learning style. They have definite views about what they like and what they don't like. This is a general profile of the language learners. Why teach children foreign language? Um, net, uh, they are very uh, just easy to learn languages. They have better understanding of the other cultures, other countries' cultures. The earliest onset of the foreign language learner greater than the chance for language proficiency. They have the just uh, like uh, pronunciation native speakers. They can develop the lifelong ability to communicate with more people. How these children learn language? They usually learn language with the help of the toys, with the help of the uh, songs, and different just visual aids could help you to learn language. How we call them? We call them ESL and EFL Young Language Learner. What's the difference between ESL and EFL Learner? ESL English Second Language Learner, EFL English Foreign Language Learner. In our country, Russian language is a second language and English as a foreign language. That's why we usually call them English Foreign Language Learners. English foreign language learners, they want to please their teacher rather than their peers. They become less motivated when tasks are difficult. They lose interest more quickly and they show their interest also uh, just quickly. Characteristics of young learners given by three authors. PG told that children at the young language, they are very active language learners and thinkers. Vygotsky at the same time told that children learn through the social interaction. Brunner with the scaffolding by adults, children learn effectively through the, the scaffolding with adults by adults. According to the pigeon, children learn through the making sense of the world. According to Vygotsky, adults mediate the world for children through the playing stories, questions, jokes, or fairy tales, and so on. Pidget in English class, children learn from actively interacting with physical environment in developmental stages. The children gradually develop their formal and logical thinking. Knowledge derives from the action to the movement. Vygotsky in English, about English classes told that teacher models questions for children and children easily imitate and repeat the same question. Do you like swimming? I like swimming. Do you like chocolates? I like chocolates. Through doing things in a social context, children internalize the language. Brunner's scaffolding and routines. Teachers have to get children interested in the tasks. Teachers have to simplify difficult tasks, breaking them into smaller steps. Try to give the small activities to the young learners. They are not adults. They are not ready to just digest the whole material. Give them with the small steps, with the small parts of the lesson. There are some key principles to also explain it. Teacher need to examine the activity from the child's point of view to assess whether pupils will understand what to do and why. Routine scaffolding contribute effective learning atmosphere. Try to create learning atmosphere, friendly atmosphere. Language can grow as a child takes control of language, use it initially with other children and adults. Some key words for young language teaching. Your lesson should be enjoyable, meaningful, supported, and it should be sociable and purposeful. Every lesson should have their aim and try to achieve this aim. It's easy to achieve your aim with the young language learners. Young language learners teaching tips try to imitate the L1 environment in the class. Keep yourself first of all motivated. Encourage your students, encourage your young language learners. Make English fun with games. 
Don't teach the grammar explicitly. Try to teach grammar inside the language. If you play a game with children, they ask it. Let's play a game. Do it again. They love playing games. They love funny sounds, words, physical comedy and fairy tales. Important secrets about the teaching young language learners. Children shouldn't be told they have made some mistake because they can easily immediately demotivate. Try to give the another way or chance to do it and find the mistake themselves. Young children need to feel secure and know that there is some obvious reason for using English. Activities should be accompanied with uh, just by young uh, by adult language learners and try to give them chance to play the role plays. Try to use some visual aids which are colorful and helpful for children. Activity backed by specific objects where possible as this help understanding the increased general interest. Teach with love. Teach your language with them. Teach English language with cartoons and fairy tales. It's very interesting teaching young language learners. Try to do it. Make them fun with language. Thank you for your attention. Next lesson, we will try to talk about teaching young language learners through songs. Goodbye.